this rather old, dilapidated, uncared for, abandoned, sad little plane was once my faithful Mirage Goldberg trainer. Recently I found my A certificate or basic flying certificate, which I passed with this very model, believe it or not, on the 20th of July 2000, so 20 years ago. It's been gathering dust, quite literally, upstairs here since 2006, and I believe it needs a second chance and an outing, and I can relive my achievement of uh, gaining my basic flight proficiency once again. Those who have followed the channel know that I've joined a local club and they're helping me in getting back into the air and gaining my confidence. The wing, I don't know, this hasn't been out of its bag since 2006. Certainly a lot cleaner than the fuselage and just basically looking at it nothing has attacked it or eaten it as, as it was back in 2006 when it was packed up. Back in the day it would have flown with one of these seven cell NICAD packs and I can't believe now how heavy they are and, and bulky for their capacity so that will have to be changed. Equally the little 35 megahertz receiver that's ancient history. The motor had already been upgraded to a brushless motor and controller. That's all good. Let's get it cleaned up and get it back into the air. Time now then to think about what battery pack to replace this old guy with. As we can see, it's a seven cell NICAD, which would mean that it is an 8.4 volt source. Conveniently then, if we went to LiPo, we could use a two cell, which would be 8.4, and we're good to go. No? Well, in my case, no. I don't have any two cell packs of sufficient capacity, so that's not really an option for me. Looking then at the speed controller, we can see that it's a 6 to 12 NICAD controller. So 12 times 1.2 would be 14.4 volts its maximum. Therefore it would seem logical to go with a three cell LiPo and this is the 2200 that I currently use in my Bixler which is a similar sized craft. Obviously the step up from 8.4 volts to 12.6 max means that if you went anywhere near full throttle the current draw would be a lot more than it was previously and probably much too much for this little plane. Up front in this guy is actually one of these phasor motors, which is really, really overkill. The original design, obviously from the name 550, was for a 550 size Mabuchi motor, not producing anywhere near the power that this thing can produce. This is awesome. I have a 1.8 meter glider that goes vertical on one of these guys. What we need to do then is with the watt meter, have a, a test to see what current draw and what sort of thrust we're getting. I've elected to use one of these receivers with the name which cannot be mentioned in conjunction with the multi-protocol module in my Taranis. If you're unsure how to set those up, there's a, a video that I've done previously. Let's get this hooked up now then and do a quick test. Not forgetting our safety squints. My word. We got then to a peak current of 39 amps, being a 40 amp controller. We're on the limits there, but we'll get nowhere near that. That was a, an awesome amount of power. In fact, it was 433 watts. I think that would get the thing moving along a little bit too quickly. There will have to be some throttle management, some rates put in on the throttle to, uh, to tame that down. Now I can hook up the other servos and check the control surfaces for the rudder and elevator. Where I used to fly back in the UK, it was off of grass, so I had no real need for a, a tailwheel. However, here we go off of concrete and therefore I'm going to need a tailwheel. I haven't managed to find one of the correct size, which I believe is half an inch. And this is more than double that, but I think it adds to the cartoony feel of the thing. What I'll have to do is to bend up a piece of piano wire to attach this. In the original design, the piano wire goes in maybe about five millimeters. So that's five, let's measure this, say 20. 
need to come up, say, to about there. So that's 40. So 25, 65, 65 millimeters plus what we're going to need for here and a little bit extra. A couple of millimeters on each side gives you 17. So two times 65 and 17. I'll need a piece of wire 147 millimeters long. Well, let's get that bent up. Having bent the wire to shape, I've just laid some epoxy down on there, hopefully to keep it in place. And whilst that's just hardening up completely, I think I'll get out my covering iron and try and tidy up some of these little wrinkles. Not that it's ever going to win any beauty competitions. Uh, here we are then, some 20 years after my initial solo flight. And she's away. Overflying the airstrip. So the next part should be doing a figure of eight. the crossing point in front of me. A bit raggedy. Ah, in the shrubbery. <laughs> Second flight of the day, and the 20th anniversary flight of the Mirage. So far, so good. Famous last words. And she's away. And as it said, overfly the takeoff area. There she is. And then off into a figure of eight in front of the pilot. <laughs> yeah, still pretty rusty. There we go. Let's try circuit in the reverse direction. And 
overfly the takeoff area. And it could really do with ailerons, but I'm very happy that, as I say, I keep saying it, it's bringing back memories from 20 years ago when I got my A certificate. I'm not sure that I would get it today with my raggedy flying, but it's only the second time I've flown this so low. Guess there might be some thermal activity today. It's uh, getting right up there. And you've got a constant throttle. Found a third throttle. Slightly better figure of eight than my first attempt. Not intentionally. Okay. I'm landing, so if I shout duck, <laughs> duck or grouse? <laughs> Let's do a simulated dead stick, so that's throttle off. Difficult judging the height, that's the only issue I have. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, you couldn't have enjoyed it as much as I did, bringing back the dusty old relic from the past and seeing her fly again was a real thrill for me. My thanks go to the guys at the club for all of their help and encouragement and a special shout out to Steve and to Tom without whose valuable assistance I'd have been taking the thing home in a bin bag. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.